Queensland's Gold Coast. Home to some of Australia's most famous surf breaks. And some of the most deadly sharks in the world. Hammerheads, tigers, bulls, and white sharks are all found here. The Breeze 100.6 Gold Coast News. Hi, I'm Peter Carter. In breaking news, a surfer has been bitten today off a popular Gold Coast beach. The surfer named as 20-year-old Billy O'Leary was attacked by suspected... The attack was rare. To protect swimmers, Queensland operates a shark control program. Nets and baited hooked lines are deployed at key beaches to catch sharks. But the program has a dark side. Fisherman Joel Merchant has discovered Australia's biggest sharks may have developed a taste for their own. A bit of activity going on. We're about a mile offshore and pulled up to this line and you can see that it had been tangled up and the float had, had a, lot of, a lot of weight put on it. It was squashed, you know. Here's our baby. You could feel the weight of the shark, but as it came up, it just didn't look long enough. It's been chomped. And then realised it was completely bitten in half. Something's just munched it. Pretty big bite. Had a run in with the, the boys in grey suits. It looked like a really big bite mark in it. It's huge. It's just come along and just taken a bite. Just smashed it to pieces. And for Joel, it wasn't a one-off. Over the past seven years, Joel pulled out more and more evidence of shark-on-shark -shark predation. So it's probably another whaler, or a couple of them. And again, there's big cuts in there. They're a bit wider. In the past few years, I haven't seen anything like it. There has been hundreds. It's like a daily occurrence now. It just seems to be what they're eating. Mark Meekin is one of the world's leading shark biologists. He's convinced that shark-on-shark -shark attacks, like this one, could be more common than we ever realized. Look at these marks here on the skin. There's only one other animal that can cause damage like this, and that's another shark. Who's the perpetrator? Well, it could be another big hammerhead, a bull shark, a mako shark, or a tiger shark. Any one of those big four could have done that damage. These things are apex predators, and for good reason. Master opportunists, sharks eat everything from birds to squid. But what makes shark eat shark? Could the very traits that make these things top order predators be responsible for this dark side to shark behavior? We actually know very little about it, but it's photos like this gives us an insight into something that I think could easily be happening worldwide. It's not just one rogue shark attacking other sharks or even one species of shark attacking other sharks. It's lots of different sharks turning on each other given the right circumstances. Soon, similar reports were coming in right around the Australian coast. Oh my God, that Off South Australia's Neptune Island, divers filmed a white shark lunging at another white shark. And off Queensland's Stradbrook Island, a huge white shark was photographed, almost cut in half by two monster bites. What an amazing photo. I mean, this is an enormous shark. It's 12 feet long, but look at the size of that bite. It's absolutely massive. That's an immense amount of power you need to take a bite out of another shark like that. You have to be pretty big yourself. And honestly, if I was a betting man, I might even pick another great white shark for that one. But what turns Australia's sharks into cannibals? In the case of the Gold Coast footage, Mark believes he has an answer. For a shark to go after one of these 12-foot white sharks is an incredibly risky business. 
you're attacking an animal that has a very good defensive set of teeth. Not only that, in your attack, you reveal yourself to other predators. But a hooked shark, that's a completely different story.